Earlier this week in a game you saw in WSN, Lima senior boys basketball team snapped a nine-game losing streak to Finley. Spartans certainly well represented in this week's top five plays. And thanks to the holiday hiatus, Austin Scott with plenty to choose from in this week's Layfeld Welding Top 5 Plays of the Week. The Top 5 Plays Countdown makes its return to the sports support with holiday tournament action at the Palace in Coldwater. Marion Local taking on the Cavaliers, Ryan Bruns passes down low to Luke Kanapke, and the future Toledo Rocket throws it down with two hands. The 6-foot, 10-inch senior helps the Flyers get the win on his way to earning all tournament honors. The Palace is also the venue for number 4, Coldwater hosting St. Mary's. Start of the third quarter and the Cavaliers use the pick and roll to set up Andy Burnett with a one hand slam. The 6'8 junior bringing the orange and black crowd to its feet. We'll see plenty more dunks for him in the near future. Plenty of dunks to choose from in this cross down matchup between Lima Senior and Elida. First possession of the game, Xavier Simpson drives in and lobs it up to Jalen Thomas on the baseline for the alley oop finish. The football stud also getting it done on the hardwood for the Spartans. More to come from this game. Versailles Holiday Tournament in the runner-up slot of the countdown. Host Tigers facing off with Miami East. The pass here gets tipped to Brett McEldowney on the wing and he sends a cross-court pass to Kyle Arms for the rip-rocking two-hand slam and the foul. A.J. Hickman getting put on a poster there. The Michigan State commit goes to the charity strike to cap off the three-point play. Back to the field house for the top play this week. Xavier Simpson with the inbound lob. Reek the freak! Rico Stafford with the thunderous finish. Senior high might make the top five plays every single week this winter with dunks like that. Spartans also victorious in this one over the Bulldogs, 69 to 59. Thanks to Layfeld Welding for helping us bring you the countdown each and every week. And a shout out to all of our camera operators for another marvelous job on this edition for the top five plays. Thank you, Austin. Great stuff. We finished strong with the Buckeye beat. Ohio State heads to Dallas tomorrow. Plus, your Meyer trivia winners when the sports report returns. Nothing else tastes like a Kewpie hamburger. Do you want to know the secret to that Kewpie taste? The great chefs all agree that the most important detail to a great burger is fresh ground beef. Every morning, the Kewpie grinds fresh the finest locally raised beef at each store. Fresh ground beef is the secret to that famous Kewpie taste. So don't settle for anything less than a fresh ground hamburger. The pickle on top makes your heart go flippity flop. With so many reasons you can use a home equity loan, it only seems fair the Union Bank should offer just as many choices. Whether it's amazingly low adjustable rates, great fixed rates, or convenient lines of credit, the Union Bank has you covered. And because we're a community bank, all the decisions are made right here so we can get you approval and your money fast. Stop by the Union Bank today to get started. Union Bank! Iowa State football team spending tonight in Columbus before leaving for Dallas tomorrow afternoon in the national championship game on Monday. Earlier this week, Buckeyes met with the media. 15 different videos from that session can be found on our Buckeye Insider playlist and the WOSN YouTube channel. Among the topics of discussion, Ohio State's defense, which has looked very good the last couple times out, going up against Oregon's very up-tempo offense. Even though the Ducks are a little banged up, particularly at the wide receiver position, Ohio State has a lot of respect for the Pac-12 champs. Urban Meyer admits he's been converted to an up-tempo guy. The Buckeyes know the key to attacking the Ducks is Heisman Trophy winning quarterback Marcus Marotti. 